Shovels, rakes, and brooms. We know what they're for and the work they do. But what about rackets, bats, and clubs? Nobody seems to know. They have so many ideas of what they're for. But if you use them the way you use other the tools and the way you do things off the court, you'll find that playing a sport becomes as ordinary and routine as using any other tool that you use. On this one, instead of putting it here, you'll be more comfortable with the Oh, you. I've been doing this for over 50 years, and I found that no matter whether you're an old man who can barely hobble out to the course, that you, or the court, you can still play a good game of tennis. You can play the walking game if you can barely walk. And you can still play a decent game of tennis. You'll be amazed about the people that you're able to beat without running. But if you are a good athlete, you don't have to be a super athlete, just a normal guy or gal coming off the street, I'll show you that you already know more about how to play than, than you thought. But you've forgotten the instincts that you learned uh, when you learned how to walk, when you learned how to ride a bike, when you learned how to sweep a floor. All these things are part of your life. So all you do is drag them back into the court, on the golf course, or on the baseball field. You're a natural athlete. I'm Frank Adams, and welcome to The Unconscious Athlete. playing the way nature intended. In other words, the way you move in life is the way you should move in a sport. And uh, let your body tell you how to move instinctively. And we don't do that when you get a racket, a bat, or a club, you don't know what it's for. So you let somebody else tell you how to use it. And it doesn't agree with what your body normally does. But what you have to do is go back to what you know and listen to your body. It knows how to move. And then what happens is you find that you look like Roger Federer, or you look like Bernie Els, or, or maybe Annika Sorenstam, uh, or maybe even Ted Williams with a bat. I mean, these guys just did things that the body wanted to do. Oh, so we look, and we see these things happen, and we say, well, wow, these guys look so good. Why? Because they didn't go and take lessons like you did. They just played by instinct. And it's fantastic. That's what we're doing. And that's what the unconscious athlete is all about. Yogi Berra said you can't think and hit at the same time. And he's right. And you can walk down the street. You don't have to think very much about that. You can ride a bike. You had to learn yourself. You can catch a ball. Nobody can tell you how to do it. You do it. And then you can throw the ball, and you learn how to do that. Then you don't think about it anymore. It's instinctive. And that's what the unconscious athlete and playing by nature, using your instincts is all about.